This is clearly a huge subject to tackle in a short video, but I was wondering over this while thinking about video subjects when it comes to pop culture. Or perhaps nowadays we should change it from pop culture to consumption culture or saturation culture. I vend at a lot of comic conventions and get overwhelmed with how many movies, shows and video games are represented at these events. It's amazing to see how people are inspired to create art, costumes, props, fan fictions and more based on their favourite franchises and these even inspire their own original projects. But as more and more comic conventions pop up to celebrate this culture, I worry that since we are already living in an oversaturated industry, is pop culture actually ruining entertainment? In the last five years or so, our collective consumption of pop culture can be summed up in one word. Binge. Who of anyone watching this video can say they never binge watched a series on Netflix or watched a film franchise consecutively? This has become an acceptable way to function. No more waiting, no more ad breaks, just continual consumption. We are in a culture where if you say you've never watched a popular show, someone will say that you've not lived until you've watched this show. And yeah, I'm guilty of doing that. After consuming a show, we want to understandably find other fans to talk about it with. Hell, that's what I use my YouTube channel for. But this endless consumption cannot be healthy. Or, to put it another way, in order to avoid spoilers, we feel the need to stay up to date. We can't wait too long or a meme will spoil a film for you. Yeah, that happened for Avengers Infinity War and Endgame for me, thank you very much. Some so-called fans take things way too far when they, for example, threaten to storm Sony because Spider-Man is no longer part of the MCU. And thank you to Leaks Online, the season 9 finale of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic was released early. And because of screenshots and the wonderful YouTube recommendation tab, that has also been spoiled for me and others who have been watching the show for 10 years. Not only that, but some so-called fans of MLP have been sending death threats to Jim Miller, one of the writers and co-directors of the show, causing them to close their Twitter for their own personal safety. I encourage passion, but if your obsession with a franchise causes you to want to commit crimes against studios and individuals who create these things, Surely this anger and passion should be channeled into protesting something far more important than a movie franchise or a cartoon. I suppose the same could be said about someone who runs a YouTube channel complaining about pop culture. Yes, I see the irony. Staying on top of episodes and movie releases is becoming more and more difficult nowadays and frankly I am losing the drive to keep up. But even when we do finish consuming a series or a movie, even if it is spoiled for us, there is always something else to consume. There is an oversaturation now. There is so much out there that it is impossible for any single human being to see every single movie or show ever made. We have been binging for far too long and there is so much out there to consume, we will never reach the end of it. But what about an oversaturation of just one genre in particular? Is that also a bad thing? I, for one, am getting sick and tired of the superhero genre, and for someone who grew up on X-Men, Batman, Superman and more, that is just so damn sad. But let's be real here, no one is FORCING us to consume all of this content. That's not to say that it's not constantly in our faces, often leading to sensory overload and eventual exhaustion from just too much of a good thing. Like most things in life, we have a vast menu from which to choose. But that doesn't necessarily mean the quality is that great. We just know there is quantity. Ever been to a restaurant where they have over 100 items to choose from? No, because a good restaurateur knows that quality is more important than quantity and knows to cater to the customers, they choose a brand, stick with it, support local businesses and provide good quality service. Let's look at it this way. You can either have a cheap cheeseburger right now or you can wait an hour or two for the best prime rib steak ever. Which are you going to choose? Most of us will probably choose the cheeseburger because we're either in a hurry and don't want to wait, or we simply can't afford to pay the price of a good prime rib steak dinner. And that's the problem. Since about 2003, there have been at least 500 films released. 
and that's just at the box office. Now it's almost approaching 800 films per year. My slogan on my channel is stay creative. I will never tell anyone to stop creating because there's too much, but with this ever-ending need to escape reality and dive into the immersion of a movie or TV series for a couple of hours, we are losing our grip on reality and why the human race has this gift of creating in the first place. As a consumer, I usually like to re-watch movies and shows I enjoyed as a kid. And of course, nostalgia is a big money maker and even those shows and movies are being remade into soulless gritty realistic remakes so what's the big deal here why am i getting so angry about this maybe we can consume some of these things precariously knowing the final details of something just because so many people are talking about it i suppose there is something positive about this fated idea though you will forever have something else that you're looking forward to watching Okay, the anticipation isn't exactly the same because it's instantaneous, but admittedly, this is pretty damn cool. With so much saturation of culture, we're likely to enjoy more mediocrity than quality. But just because there is so much out there doesn't mean we need to consume it all. So if, like me, you feel the pressure to keep up with the latest episode of Game of Thrones or CSI or I don't know what else the kids are watching these days, don't worry about it. Eat what you want and just leave the rest. It will always be there, and it's your choice whether you consume it or not. The solution? All things in moderation. Look for quality, not quantity. I'm Ad Munchkin. Stay creative.